You know what, folks? First of all, welcome to Tough Crowd now. The Democrats had a little gangbang last night on CNN. They all went after Howard Dean because a few days ago he said, I want to be the candidate for the guys of the pickup trucks with the Confederate flags. Sharpton even pulled the redneck card on him and said, Dean stereotyped all Southern white people. So everybody started applauding and yelling because Sharpton's got that charisma. So then John Edwards decides to grandstand. He gets up because he's from the South. He's yelling at Dean, strutting around the room, made his biggest move. He's like, I'm from the South. I agree with the Reverend. You don't talk to us like that. Then at the end of his thing, all he got was like pity, like polite applause. <laughs> Let's be honest. Uh, you try to ride Sharpton's bouffant on that one, John, and you just, you don't have it. You don't have the magnetism. You seem like a great guy. You seem like a guy that played the president in like an 80s TV movie or something? <laughs> no. Sorry, sitcom hair, the sitcom face. You're probably very smart, but beat it, you're out. Now listen, in other uh, more pressing news, one third of all the internet porn is being watched by the women. People say, yeah. Now a lot of people are saying, oh my God, you know, it's an, it is an addiction, as we all know. You know, they say you can waste your whole life on internet porn. That would be true. If life wasn't worth wasting, that would be true. If life was filled with candy cane streets and sugar clouds, then yes, sitting in there with the internet porn would be a bad thing. But if you're going to tell some Tulsa Walmart checker who's trying to feed her kids that she can't bust onto a Colin Quinn website and play with herself <laughs> for a brief moment of utopia, that's right, I said utopia, to get her through her damn days, then I say, and excuse me, this is the way I talk, street to the core, F you. <laughs>
and a mink with his own TV show? Yeah. I'm still gonna go to jail if you're on TV. Me and this dude got more chances of going to jail just standing next to y'all. Oh, you're right. I forgot the cops are on like a fascist hunt for you guys. Yes! <laughs> what's, what's, what's with all the sarcasm oh, about it? Not, because nobody can believe this, these outright lies anymore. You're pimping white America and they're taking it, but I don't. Listen, <laughs> last night the Democrats got together for a nice little debate in Boston. Speaking of white Americans cowering, watch this as our powerful people show their you power. You said that <laughs> you wanted to be the candidate for guys with Confederate flags on their pickup trucks. I think we need to talk to white Southern workers and they need to come back to the Democratic Party. Martin Luther King said, come to the table of brotherhood. You can't bring a Confederate flag to the table of brotherhood. We need to bring folks together in this race. Now, I make no apologies for reaching out to poor white people. <laughs> If you're a poor white person, you deserve to be, because y'all got all kind of opportunities. Yeah, you're right. That's the yeah. truth. We really want every <laughs> aspect of everything, and everything bad that happens, we're responsible for. And everything good Absolute, that happens, you, yes. somebody must have... Uh, can I, can yeah. I do something uh, unprecedented on this show? Yes. I'm going to take the side of the white person. Yeah! Wow! Oh, Jesus Dude, Christ. Wait a minute. I'm just going to say, I'm going to say this. I don't like anybody, more than even race, I don't like anybody that takes things out of context. And what? this dude, wait a minute, uh, this dude please. was not saying he supports racism. He's saying he wants crackers to stop voting for Democrats. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how I took it. And that's not a bad thing to say. He wants those dudes Thank to you. vote for Democrats. And that was taken out of context, yeah, they, and it was abused. That's what I'm to, saying. They keep trying to paint Dean as, like, having race issues. I mean, it, 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 you know, he, he can't possibly be racist. He's from Vermont, for Christ's sake. And you, you can't really hate <laughs> black people until you're around them a lot. <laughs> well, listen, I mean, it takes a while to build life for Judy has to get a word in. Judy has to get a word in. First of all, there's plenty of giant lesbians in jail. That's number one. <laughs> <laughs> number That's a good two, point. thank you. Number two is he grew up in New York City. Who did? Dean. He was a doctor in New York City. He went, grew up in New York. He went to like some richy rich. That statement wasn't racist, Colin. It, it, oh, I didn't I mean, think it was racist. Of course not. But it, it actually racist. was. I'm saying that in context. It's strange that Sharpton would be the one to say it, but it actually is a weird stereotype that he's somehow equating. I, he's equating to... white. He's equating white working people with right. guys in pickup trucks and and uh, you know and uh, Confederate flags. But we don't know what he means. But that is that is a stereotype. It is a stereotype. So what? No, it's no way to, you know, you know the, the, you're not going to get them to put down their banjos and get off their cousin and vote Democrat with that kind of attitude. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Let's face it. Will there ever be a candidate that can relate to both races? Patrice? Hillary Clinton, maybe. Maybe. I think she's going to get it all, man. She, she's the next president. She's the next president that counts. Watch. She's going to really? get them all. All of them. Because nobody, no white person is going to vote for Sharpton just out of pure out of the Sharptonness. Tawana, you no, can't the vote for Brawley a pimp. Thing it's just so ain't gonna happen. Yeah, they're not going to vote for it. It's just nobody that does represent. He's At least this white boy is trying to represent everybody. He's trying to include everybody. At least you got to give him that. Well, I'm not going to vote for him because I don't, you know, I'm going to pray for Sharpton, but I'm not going to vote for anybody, really, because, you know, oh, conspiracy theorists, you know how it is. Yeah. <laughs> but I love the fact that, I love the fact that this son of a bitch w was a doctor. He went to all these schools. He became this big wheel and running brother. You're going, this white boy. <laughs> I bet he'd love to hear that. This white boy ain't got to well, What color does he think he is? What kind of silly, you is? know what I'm talking about. How would you like me to say black boy? You don't think that would cause a little problem? You do it all the time. Oh. <laughs> Fine. You go watch these exciting new hip commercials and we'll stay here along with each other. <laughs>
<laughs> what I think. Ow. This is great when a lesbian does it. It really does. Yes, it adds another new texture. It's a whole different dimension. Oh. Um, what I actually think is that who is the jackass that works at the government that's monitoring cartoons? <laughs> that's a good point. Yeah, too. What department is that? The yeah, cartoon monitoring. Taxes. That's yeah. why. That's why I think it's bull. I think it's like this Robert Evans guy hyping up the thing. There's nobody at the State Department calling him up saying, you know. And first of all, the whole thing's absurd because Jacques Chirac is not. You know, they're painting him to be gay, and he's not. He's just French, so he just sounds gay. Yeah. Really <laughs> but also, but what about the Reagan uh, miniseries thing? Oh, that, that is so ridiculous. It's why did they have to get involved in it? It's a. It's a. A movie. What, right. It's like waste your time on acknowledging all the people that died in Iraq. And but don't you say, also think why? But they're not doing. They're boycott. They're threatening to boycott. Right. So well, you they took it off the air. They totally. took it off. They you, it to so then you time. agree that all the gays that boycotted Eminem were <laughs> too, right? Yeah. Okay. Good. So <laughs> wait, they're complaining about with this movie. Goes, <laughs> they're complaining that it's just it's a biased portrayal right. of the president. That they made it's, up. It takes stuff. A, they made stuff up and it's a bias. Like I mean, I don't know if you read any of the script, but there was that one scene where uh, where Reagan drowns a puppy. <laughs> That never happened. Yeah. I just think it's so ridiculous that they think that American people, which they are, are so stupid that they're going to believe this movie and their whole opinion's going to change over a stupid movie of the week. Well, if it's what supposedly some autobiographical, I believe stuff when I see it. So what? You don't it's a TV saw? show. It's a TV show. What? It's a TV show. Yeah, but you can't, you know, there's a fine line between all, I mean, these things have to be semi-true. You wouldn't watch a fake TV show about the Reagan. You want to hear what the story was. I watched all three Amy Fisher things. And did you believe them? Yes, I believed everything. That's what I'm saying. I believe <laughs> I mean, I watched, uh, I watched Roots. I watched Roots, and yeah, I, I roots, never, exactly. but I never believed slavery happened until I saw that. Oh. <laughs> and then I do, though, after seeing it. <laughs> oh, look at Tom. Hey, look at Tom still thinking about that big man's foot in his foot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, look. I, I'm sorry. Let's talk. I have Damn! <laughs> Let's talk about the it's Nielsen. Actually, bigger than I am. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about the Nielsen's net ratings. One in three right, visitors right. to porn websites are women. Mm -hmm. Judy, start us off with that, right? Mm. Well, I don't know why. You? No, I don't know why this is so shot. Like, women never have any sexual desires. We're just here to, you know, please. <laughs> I. <laughs> I take the boot again. <laughs> I have a Woody right now, and you don't even know it. I do. What? Do women? Do women, do women get into the, uh, the, the internet, uh, what are you doing? porn posture? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I think it's a good thing, man. I'm glad they're watching, because that way they, they find out what we really like. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Instead of that, instead of that horse crap horses. that they try to pull on us. Of all, like, I, don't. I, I, be pouring candles and, on me and oh, all that stuff. <laughs> you know, I'm, do the right. thing. Do the I'm thing. I'm sure that you watch porn so that you can please your woman better, right? Yes. Yes. Oh, grab a bite yeah, of right. yeah. I, I, don't, I don't even You're believe You're grabbing that. this bite Actually, of I watch porn yeah. to see if I match up to the porn guys. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. So what's... Wait, what's like, I'm sorry. No, I'm saying, I, don't, I don't even believe... Where, where do they even get these numbers? They have these like, weird... And it's needles. not even I mean, women. it's like one out of every three people on the internet I know claims to be a woman. Right. But it's... Well, I guarantee it's not. Because you're entitled to life living in the pursuit of commercials. <laughs> so here they are. <laughs>You like it rough? Then join the tough crowd with Colin Quinn. I don't like prosecutors. They ought to all be disciplined severely every afternoon, 2, 2.30, something like that. It's Tough Crowd with Colin Quinn, weeknights at 11.30. Auto Dry Car Wash. Now, you might have watched last night, although you couldn't tell by our ratings, <laughs> Where we took some of our regular comics from the show and secretly taped them for a few laughs at their expense. <laughs> Tonight we present the second installment of our Tough Crowd Hidden Camera Photo Shoot. Our five comics thought it was a publicity shoot for Comedy Central run by our beautiful photographer Ellen. What they didn't know was that there were a few other cameras in the room behind mirrors and in the ceiling. Sorry, boys. Tonight, we take a look at Patrice O'Neill. Now, Patrice, everybody knows that you're, that we would call you a chisel, except that Jim Norton's the cheapest son of a bitch in comedy. But you're not, too, why do you have to prove, why are you trying to match Jim? Watch this. Huh? 
get paid all you get paid anyway, right? Concerts are paying you? Well, through my agent. I'm getting publicity. You know what I'm saying? You're paying, you're paying. They're paying you, right? Yeah. Money? Yeah. Can I get a couple of these pictures? Basically, I'm asking for free pictures. <laughs> so if I get free comedy show, then you get free pictures. before in my life. Take, take, Point take. Point again. <laughs> what, am I holding? Maybe. I'm not holding any signs of Colin Quinn. Tell me your best joke. Nobody's making me laugh. That ain't our job. I thought if that you, is. You're a comedian. You you're going to take pictures of me, too? Yes. For we money. Tra- there you go. We trade. It's all business. It's we trade. <laughs> it's all business. All I'm saying is I'm Patrice O'Neal. People gonna say, who took your headshots? Cause they gonna look good. Yeah, of course. And I'm gonna say, good. this white girl up on tour. Clean on the table, maybe scream at me, or just scream at me in general. Give me some <laughs> free pictures. <laughs> now, Patrice, I tried to be nice and work out a deal with you, but you just—you you were so cheap. You didn't just make yourself look cheap. You made Steve Atwater look cheap. All right. <laughs> Watch here as the photo shoot is over, and you're still trying to get a hook up. How many shots will shoot? Headshots. Um, last time I did headshot was 450. Oh, so so two? Huh? So 200. If you give me four tickets, how many tickets you, you have to give? Ellen, call me on an off day. And I don't, I like, I don't like studio headshots. I got outside na- nature. That's what I like. Okay. So you don't need a setup. Just be like, I need some money. Patrice, you need headshots today? I think I got 200 bucks, baby. All right. Just call me. Just be like, I need some money. See you guys later. Hey, have a good one. Bye. So, oh, you didn't give me a number. You didn't give me a number. I'll give it to you on this. I call you at 4 in the morning. Hello. What you doing, Ellen? <laughs> oh, Jesus folks, Christ. that was beautiful. <laughs> didn't care to half a <laughs> right. You didn't give a damn. All you want was those free pictures. So unbelievable. <laughs> oh, folks, this isn't over. We got two more to go. Tomorrow night, we'll look at Mr. Keith Robinson. We'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> Islamic fundamentalists recruiting in our nation's prisons, which, as you know, are all white-run, uh, make you yearn for the kind of gentler methods of L. Ron Hubbard. What group should be trying to recruit our prisoners, and what should their pitch be? Uh, Todd. I think the Islamic fundamentalists have the right idea. The U.S. Army should be recruiting in prison systems. Ninety-three <laughs> percent of prisoners are violent, repeat offenders, and it costs more to house them than they pay an enlisted soldier. Put their <laughs> skills to good use. Yeah. Training, whatever. They're violent. That's why I want protecting me. Not my half-sissy cousin who joined the Army to pay off his student <laughs> loan. And the pitch would be real easy. We do more before 8 in the morning than you do before your entire 10 to 25 sentence. <laughs> <laughs> All right, they can make it real easy. Go Army. It's not like you got anything else to do. <laughs> All right. Greg. Uh, if there's one group that should really move into the prisons, it's organized labor. <laughs> I mean, outside of prison, there's legislation to protect workers from carpal tunnel syndrome, for example. You know, if typing can hurt you, imagine the repetitive stress injuries from being constantly gang sodomized in the prison laundry. <laughs> Sometimes this goes on for hours with no overtime pay. <laughs> and prison wages are terrible. Nobody should have to work for months just to buy a cellmate a decent string of anal beads. True. <laughs> now, Judy, before we get into yours, I'm what just you pissed think? off. I didn't get to do that photo shoot, Colin. What is I that? I didn't set it up. Go talk to these other dummies. Yeah, well, I will. Good. <laughs> now, listen. Yeah. Judy, we're still in the middle of the show, by the way. Oh, sorry. So why don't you tell us what you would do with the prison, whatever the hell it was. <clears throat> well, I think the TV show Trading Space should recruit prisoners. <laughs> Their pitch would be, do you feel that your bitch's cell is too cluttered? <laughs> Are you sick of using the toilet as a coffee table? Do those vertical bars make you look fat? <laughs> <laughs> 
Why does Bubba's cell seem so spacious, fresh, and inviting? How about Bubba redecorating your cell while you redecorate your bitches? Get ready to close your eyes, drop your pants, and experience your cozy new confinement. <laughs> All right. Patrice Patricio Mears. Patrice. Uh, so, so a recruiter from the high school football freshman association. Uh, <laughs> look, gentlemen, in all phases of athletics, practice is essential. So in this fragile time of violent hazing, we look to you inmates to show us the proper way to fight off unwanted butt cheek advances. We <laughs> <laughs> We'd like to start off with Mike. We hear his jammy shaped like a pine cone. Oh, <laughs> oh not, nothing! It's not easy. It's not easy being the third anal rape joke in a row, is it? Yeah, right. Where else was you gonna go? I didn't even go there. I know. Uh, and it the, didn't get a laugh either, so you might as well went there. Did I get a laugh? Shut up! I... No. <laughs> Judy, why don't you just, why don't you try not to make, why don't you admit? Well, the hell with what? it all. What am I admitting? Nothing. I got Nothing. It. Could we do the boot out. thing again? Which, which thing? Could we do the boot thing again? Well, I think that's a good idea for yeah, the yeah. Uh, end of the show, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Folks, <laughs> here's a radical fundamentalist Islamic thought for you. The show's over. <laughs> good night. <laughs>